Just in time for this year's Winter Olympics, Peacock has released three all-new exclusive documentaries highlighting some of the top stories from Olympics past. And we'll kick things off with one of my favorite Olympic athletes of all time, Alpine ski star Peekaboo Streep. Let's take a look at a clip from the new documentary, Peekaboo. Over a second ahead of anybody else, Peekaboo Street. An amazing American with an unusual name, People ask me, what are you thinking when you're going that fast? Damn. And I said, I'm thinking about how I can go faster. Exactly what happened. My father just tried to attack me in my own house. It was a very, very dramatic. Peekaboo put ski racing back on the map. That will be goal for Peekaboo Street. So Peekaboo is co-directed by former U.S. Olympic Committee Vice President and filmmaker Frank Marshall, and former Olympian Lindsey Vaughn. Yes, that Lindsey Vaughn, who is making her directorial debut with this film. Uh, the documentary follows Peekaboo Street's childhood in Idaho, to joining the U.S. ski team at the age of 17, to the devastating injury that almost ended her career. Uh, Peekaboo would ultimately win two Olympic medals, a silver in the 1994 Lillehammer Games and a gold at the 1998 Nagano Games, um, it was so interesting to learn more about Peekaboo's life and career with footage I don't recall seeing um, because those Olympics were you know, still pretty young at the time. But it was just a, a really like fascinating look inside an Olympian's journey from those early training days to what is peak Olympic performance and just the stress um, that they're put under to realize what they've dedicated so much of their life to and see how what happens when that is almost taken away from you. Um, it's only 90 minutes, so it's an easy watch. If you've been fully immersed in the Olympics like I have, you'll find this to be a really great companion piece to what you're seeing happen live right now during the Winter Olympics. So highly recommend Peekaboo. Uh, Rose, which documentary um, did you pick for this week? I chose meddling. And if there's anything that you know about figure skating, if, they, if you follow it or not, there's always, there's always something happening with those folks. So let's take a look at the clip. The standing ovation. Simply perfect. He won the Olympics. That's what I thought. How did that happen? They won that prize. It's the French judge. It's the French judge. She was pressured to vote for the Russians. It was shocking. I was falsely accused. I did not cheat in Salt Lake City. <laughs> meddling. Ooh, yes. Meddling, meddle, meddle, meddling. The little play on words for this documentary series, meddling, is very apropos. It follows the scandal behind Canadian figure skating pair, Jamie, Jamie Salé and Ooh, I'm gonna get the talk. David Pelletier, losing gold to the Russians. So I, I feel like this story is so compelling. I feel like it plays out like a scripted drama series because of the, there's love, there's romance, there is drama, and of course, scandal. And I feel like there's, I don't know, is it me? Is this a common theme? There's like something with the Tanya Harding thing. There's something with this, but even with the judges meddling in it, if you catch my drift, but it is so interesting. It makes, I mean, figure skating, these people work so hard at what they do just to have what three to five minutes on the ice to show their hard work. And then there's always this underlying nefarious, thing that's seemingly out to get them for for what for what and this takes you through that the dark underbelly of figure skating can you believe that figure skating has a dark underbelly i mean if history has shown us yes but you will not be disappointed when you see the meddling that happens in meddling so that's my take i hope you enjoy it and as i say sometimes 
watch it because you're curious or if you're you don't really care about it watch it anyways <laughs> so that it's, that was my pick <laughs> there's even like there's a, a there's a figure skating scandal happening right now with one of the russian olympic committee athletes who who tested for like a banned substance and she's yeah that's right and she's, and she's like, like 15 and there's like is, is that the one yeah and they yeah. might be able to skirt around it because she's a it, there's always something Oh yeah, yeah. Cam Camila Valieva. Yeah, for sure. It's it's oh, interesting. Man. We've been talking a lot about that here at the house, right? Like, at what age should you know better? Or you know how how we also talk about making sure that you're always speaking up, right? And not to turn this show around, but you do have a responsibility for yourself. It's hard. It's very hard to be that young, um, like you mentioned, Rose, to to try to um, compete at this level. Um, and the pressure, not only your own pressure, your team, but your country's pressure, which I think yes. adds a whole different dynamic that none of us, I think, um, can understand. So I'm hopeful that um, we get to the bottom of this and that, you know, she's amazing. She is amazing. So I hope that Camila is, uh, again, able to, to skate for sure. Yeah. And not only is yeah. just she amazing, the athletes in general, they have so much to think about just performing that all this noise in the background sort of gets in the way i mean i hope this doesn't diminish your view of the olympics because those athletes are amazing outstanding phenomenal human beings when they're out there on the ice but this just gives you a glimpse into all of the additional things that they have to think about so just keep that in mind and meddling you won't be disappointed but we got to move on. So moving on to the next. Liz, what did you choose? All right. I have to be honest. I think I have the best docu-series, actually. It's called <laughs> American Rockstars. Um, and it really is the best way to describe it. And they talk about it in the show is they look like a bunch of dads who just wanted to get away from their family for the weekend. And then they happen to win an Olympic gold medal. Check out the clip. <laughs> Is it a miracle? Team USA looks like dads that tried to get away from their family for a weekend and wound up winning the Olympics. The United States has won curling gold. It was the miracle on ice. Going home. <laughs> we have a lot of confidence. Get up, son. If we come and play how we're capable of playing, we have a great chance at winning. <laughs> right like yeah. i promise you i promise you you will like this docu-series it's an easy watch it's a four-part docu-series on peacock that really walks through um not so much curling so admittedly i still know nothing about curling which is you know okay other than we're getting the stone in the target using some brooms it's amazing <laughs> um but these guys are funny they're down to earth they're from Minnesota, and they even admit to, hey, we don't look like a normal <laughs> Olympic athlete, right? And you watch them train. So it really walks you through their win in 2018 um, against Sweden, which happened to be the, uh, the reigning champ, right, if you will, who has always medaled. Um, and they had an upset win, right? They're considered the rejects. <laughs> and they went out there and absolutely killed it so you they walk you through that and then all of the training that they needed to do for this year so my guys are from minnesota they like to ice fish have a couple of beers um and they are just like like i said in the beginning of this just a bunch of dudes a bunch of guys who <laughs> just happen to win a gold medal they're phenomenal yeah i love for sure. it wait tell Walk me through if you can give us a glimpse of like what what's curling training look like? Do they show that at all? <laughs> yeah, they do. So in, at one part, they talk about um, they're they're like at a gym and doing all of the training things that you would normally think an an Olympic athlete would do, like push ups and running and doing all of this stuff. And the and the one guy, John Schuster, who who also happened to be the flag bearer at the opening ceremonies, he's the skip, which is sort of like the team lead, and he's like. I can't do this. Like we've got beer <laughs> bellies. I mean, they're really great guys. They're they're. It's a really great docu series. You should definitely check it out. I love that they're basically the yeah. mighty. They're the mighty ducks of curling. It's a, yeah. love it so much. 
I was watching uh, curling and saw something I had never seen and it never even occurred to me is that when two rocks are really close to the center, like, like you can't even tell with your eyes which is closer. I had wondered how they figured that out, if it was some sort of lasers or something. No, they bring out this pressure gauge and it's, a, a, it's an arm and it fits right in the center hole and then they they move it around and there's a little stick that like bumps up against the rock and whichever one creates more pressure on this little stick is closer doing a terrible job of explaining it but it's really really interesting and i'm like it's i'm impressed it's so you even know with, about it <laughs> I'm yeah just, i was just it's... so like impressed that i thought like it was some sort of like top tech that they were using but in true curling fashion and in true Mighty Ducks dudes from Minnesota fashion, it's just some metal con contraption with an arm that tests which is closer. It was just pretty interesting. Yeah, come on. I mean, it's curling. And and the, the science and the, the, the form that goes into Skip, John Schuster, when he when he rolls out that stone, if you ever notice that that form that goes on, I mean, I love it. It's it, I still don't know enough about it to really to be 100 percent honest, um, but it's fun to watch them vigorously broom and sweep that ice where they're all trying. I mean, it's it's I mean. <laughs> Listen, if, if you want a fun time, I swear, just watch curling. Make sure you watch American Rock Stars on Peacock. You will not be sorry that you did, for sure. Great, great plug. Well, to check out these documentaries and so much more, just say Olympics into your voice remote or say Peacock and just go straight there and, and uh, check out some of these documentaries.